Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Right, I'm here today. I'm going to do some stamping. Uh, if you watch me rummaging my little pots and things, I'm getting very low on stamped words to add to projects. And they all seem to be the same words I've got. So I'm going to stamp a few different words and I'm going to do something that you're really probably not going to like. I'm going to take a pair of scissors to a stamp set. I am. <laughs> this one here. This is from my card making days. I used to sell cards, so I had every word, every phrase you could possibly want on a stamp, on a card, for a card. And I very rarely make a card now. I don't make these general cards that just used to sell at craft fairs. It tends to be a specific card for a specific person, so I don't need all these as they are. So, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut them up into single words that I would use in a junk journal. Uh, I think these are probably from Amazon, eBay or AliExpress. Couldn't tell you where. So, let's go ahead. What does that one say? That says, are oh, beautiful. I don't want R. I just want beautiful. So, chop. Ooh. So we've now got beautiful. I'm quite happy with that. We're going to have a load of R's because <laughs> we've got R fantastic and we've got R. We've got make me happy. I think I just want fantastic and beautiful. We'll stick all the little R's in a box. What we've got here now make a difference. I think I like that as it is. One says give the best hugs. I think I want to just cut that up into hugs and the best. So happy for you. Make my life better. Wonderful. Dear sweet. Wonderful. That just needs to be three separate words, doesn't it? We don't need all that on one. So get rid of the dear. Get rid of the sweet. We do have a little... Uh, we've got a comma on the end of dear. I don't know if I'd use the deer on its own, so I'm just going to pop that back. What we got now? Deserve to be celebrated. I think that just needs to be celebrate. What we got? May I'm, I like made my day as it is. And I like amaze me. And I like got this. So, they're the ones we're going to use. I've got my separate letters that I'm also going to use, but before I move on to separate letters, let's do a few with these. Now, you can use your stamp platform if you've got one. You don't have to have one. I'm going to use it because I've got one. But if I didn't have a stamp platform, I think, do you know, actually, do you know what? If you just popped them all on one block, I'm going to try this without a stamp platform. Because I've just said you can do it. I need to prove it, don't I? So, I'm going to put my stamp platform away. My intention is to stamp all these, then cut them up and distress the edges and put them in my little box, ready for when I've, I'm making ephemera and I just want that little extra touch, like a word, to add to it. So, I've got my bo a box of scraps here. These are all, they're mainly card, but I have got some thinner paper pieces. I think, do you know, I just think I want to do that one on tea dyed paper. I'm going to grab, yeah, I'll grab this piece of tea dyed paper. I folded them in the wrong place for something. So I'll probably end up cutting that down to traveller's notebook size. So I'm left with that piece, aren't I? So let's get a whirl. Let's see if my uh, stamping is uh, good enough to do that. I think I'd want these in, I do, I want them in black. So I'm going to get my versifying inks out because they're good at picking up details, so they're really good for text. But it's for a junk journal. I'm not going to lose any sleep if it don't come out perfect. Sorry if you still gasp when at the fact that I've cut stamps up. Oh. <laughs> so, I'm thinking why have I put tweet? It's upside down. It didn't even, even spell tweet. Sweet upside down doesn't even spell tweet, does it? So I'm going to come in there. You notice I'm uh, working on some wallpaper today. I was doing some photographing for Etsy and things. 
and I taped it down to my mat so I thought rather than keep getting bits of paper out underneath me for stamping I'll leave it down and then I'll throw it away there you go so we've got a load already can I fit another one on here if I hutch them up a little bit I can because I've had them really far apart for absolutely not any reason that beautiful one's really wonky beautifully wonky so yeah that's fine rather than doing each one individually do you know i don't think i'd even bother getting my stamp platform out now i'd take my own advice and do it like this so yeah i can get another set on now there we go but yeah try i've got loads of others i could cut up Especially if you've come from card making like me and you've got all these stamps just sat there doing nothing because you very rarely make a card. Yeah, just go for it. I'm just going to cut that off freehand. So we've now got all those. And I like these acrylic ones because you can just clean them off with a baby wipe and you're good to go. I always leave them to dry though before I put them away. If I went out filming and just doing a mass stamp, I'd probably do more than two. But I want to do some other types of stamping as well. So, right, the other thing I'm going to use is these, which I got out and nobody was listening because no, I'd run out of camera memory. Yeah, I'd not run out of camera, I'd run out of memory. Right, these. These are the wooden separate letter stamps. Dead easy to make whatever word you want with those. I'm going to use my sepia and yeah let's make some words so i'm just going to use some of my favorite ones oddments bits and bobs right let's i never keep these in alphabetical order in the box that'll probably drive you absolutely insane tanya but hey ho that's how it is <laughs> e d d if you that'll do it you got, I'm going to do three of the same one. I have to be really careful with D's and B's and P's. You see, I've done a far paler one there as well. Um, I'll redo for that one. Oh, that went really wrong. Oh, look, I got it nearly the same place. Odd me, odd me, eh. <laughs> I sound like a, a child. They don't even set letters like that anymore. It's all phonics. They make the sounds. Odd me, n, 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 I think that difference in colour depth just makes it look a little bit more interesting as well. If you stamp the word more than once. Can I just put my ink there so I'm not reaching across what I'm stamping? Wow, what what a idea. Thinking outside box there, woman. So we've got oddment. Let's stick an S on end. If nobody wants one oddment, that would be... Yeah, you wouldn't have much to play with there, would you? I could do bits and bobs, but I get really confused doing that one. So I love to put flora and fauna on things. I've no idea why. It's just one of my favourites. So let's do flora. I'm doing four this time because it's a short word. All right, where's my L? Do, 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 do. There you are, L. So I do two stamps, we each dip in the ink. That looks like that one pound, that, doesn't it? <laughs> Never noticed that before. Now I put me all that close, it looks like a B. Oh, well. What's that saying in my mum's? A blind man would be glad to see it. Yeah. I'm, I'm learning to read, don't I? Whoa, why am I doing this video? There you go, there you go. 
there's another letter and another letter. So we've got oddments, flora. I'm going to do fauna because this tend to go in a pair. They, those two might be a bit close together for cutting out. F, F A. Where's my A? I, I try to put them all down facing me so I can cook with gas. But I forget within seconds. But that's what I'm doing. You... I used you yet i haven't so it should still be in the lid there it is it could be n but i'm going to make it a u today there you go n where's my n gotcha that were quick and another a so you get the gist that's all i do and I really don't worry if they're not lining up. I just don't. I'm over it. And I used to be such a perfectionist that I'm really letting go of things like that. So we've got oddments, flora, fauna. So that's another kind of way I make me words. I mean, I know, I know for sure Deborah, one of my most avid followers, doesn't have a printer. So this is a good way to make things. Now I've got this other set here. I'm sure these were a pound. I really am. I'll have picked these up in a supermarket or in the works or something like that back when I used to leave the house. <laughs> the trim craft. Simply creative. And these are pretty good. They're all individual letters. They're acrylic. So what I tend to do with these is grab a block. Oh, one of the blocks is busy with other letters. Can you hear me rifling in my drawer for a decent sized block? Oh, this is the one I like. I've got a long thin one. These were a large set I got from Paper Mania and I mean years ago. Don't know if they still do them. All Sorry, size I don't have an answer for that. Well, Gertrude, did we even ask you? It's nice to know you're still alive. Anyway, Gertrude, not heard from you for a while. What have you been up to? Nothing. Gertrude's been up to nothing. I think that's her answer. Right, what word should we have? I want beauty. I do. Right, what you've got to think of here is put them down back to front. Start at the right hand side and work along. Yeah, once you get that in your head, it makes these so quick and easy. Again, I'm not spending all day trying to line things up. To make them perfectly neat. It's just not worth it. B A B E I <laughs> do it again. Oh, we've got uppercase and lowercase as well. I've put lower uppercase for the first letter and I've gone lowercase for the rest. Ah. What's the U? I have at times just nibbled a little bit of plastic off the edge of some of these as well to make them fit together better. Like the eye was on its own right in the middle of a big piece of plastic. <laughs> I have to check that I've got it right. So, so then once you've bothered to put all those letters on, just stamp a few more. Right, shall we put, I'll put a couple on the bottom of here. I'll do them in sepia. So there we have beauty. I know it's a lot larger than those letters, but we need a little bit of variety, don't we? So we've got that twice now. If I grab, I've got lots of little strips. I tend to use, this is how I use these up. You know what you've cut off when you've thought, oh, that's too big, that's too small. Need to cut it down. There you go, so we've got that four times now. Then you think, because I've, man I've spent all that time putting it on that piece of card, should I not stamp a few more? What's that? Oh, I was showing you. I think I was testing the size of a new hole punch, wasn't I? Ooh, that doesn't quite fit that way. It'll fit that way. And I should get one on there before the holes. I need a different word there. But I've had enough beauty now. That's enough beauty in my life for one day. So, 
So I'm going to leave those on while I find my next word because I may want some of those letters. So let's do one more word. What are we going to do? I do this every time I come to stamp words. I can't think what to do. Let's get Timmy out. Let's pinch some of Timmy's words. The stronger forever. <sighs> Miracle. Hmm. Trust your crazy ideas. I love that, but it takes so long to do that. That's. I think I'd type those out if I wanted to do long phrases, print them and cut them. But that doesn't help people without printers, does it? Together. Nature. Nature. That's, that's an old favourite. Nature. You can't go wrong with nature. Let's grab some more little pieces. Oh, I've even got some craft pieces here. I don't know if I want to use them. Let's grab them. They're not tickets, they're just where I've cut things that had rounded corners. And these, I don't know what I'd do with those. No, I don't think I want to stamp straight onto that. I think I'm going to use this and I'm going to write nature. So, let's get nature. We'll have a, let's have a capital N again. Remember, starting from the right hand side. Or you're going to end up, with back, you're going to end up needing to look at it in a mirror. N A. I need to dry the A off because I've just cleaned it. Don't want to stick. N A T. Let's dry the T. Am I right at the bottom again? You. I've picked a word that uses a lot of those letters, aren't I? I didn't even realise that when I picked it. Is it looking straight enough for me? Liking. Yep, liking that. We need an R. We haven't used the R, have we? Pop that on. And the E. E confuses me. I really have to look at the other side to make sure I've got my E the right way around. Yes, I'm happy with my E, so I will crack on. Yes, these are going to look upside down, but when we turn around, they're not. Nature. I mean, those, all the words have not stamped perfectly, but I don't mind. That's not really an issue for me. So there you see, we've got a full card of nature. If that's a word you use frequently. So, I'm going to clean that one off. And then let's get cutting some of these up and distressing them and sticking them on some bits. I'm going to get my jar of bits and bobs out and do something with them. Oh, nearly lost me. Why? Oh, that would have been terrible. Why? Why? Why did you lose your why? Because she's clumsy. Right, I'll put those out of the way. I'll tidy those up after we've done. You really don't want to see me sort 26 stamps out into the right order. So what we've got, we've got these that we did. I think I might back some of these onto some pieces of craft card. Movie stamps and yes, I'm going to grab my jar of desk ephemera. And I think we will put some of the words onto those. It's just, you know, sometimes when you're doing a project, you're not sure what you want to do with that word. Do you want it on this? Do you want it on that? Do you want it on other? So I'm just going to go ahead and sort it. All right, let's have some Distress Oxide in Walnut Stain. Oh, the stamps are falling over now. Stay, stay. Oh, I've got all sorts of stamps out looking through them for this project. And that's how I decided to cut that set up. I didn't really have any stamps that I really fancied for junk journaling. They were all, yeah. Cheesy little sayings for cards. Well, not cheesy, but appropriate for a card for one day on your birthday but not appropriate for a junk journal that you're going to be looking at day in day out so i'm very random when i cut these up as well it's one of the times when i can be very random so 
so I'll give those a little yank. Don't yank them all, no. So yeah, we're just having a play today, aren't we? I've just finished a big project, so I fancied doing something quite random. And you can't get more random than random words, can you? Just got all those inked. Yeah, we've got five inked. That's enough to be going on at. The rest will just get popped in my box. So I think these need to go on some craft card. I do. I just think they need some craft card backing for some strange reason. I'm going to use my glue stick on these because the paper. Grab the glue book. It'll stick quite well on paper. Oh, look at that. The old thing of the glue stick came out on me. Look. What on earth? It's nearly at the bottom. I've screwed it up a little bit too far. So I'm just going to pop that there. I could have perhaps got a couple out of this. And I'm not necessarily following the exact line of that. And there we have it. I think when we're just looking for that perfect word then on a project, that's what that will be. Perfect. You could then even go ahead and let's grab this. Oh, look, I knew that's what I'd got in here. Some bits of hessian. You could then glue that onto a piece of hessian. Made my day. That could go, that, that could even go on the front of a journal, that. I really think it could. For this one, I'm going to use my Anita's glue, my new tacky glue that I'm liking. And I'm going to glue onto the back of the word. Ooh, it really takes some squeezing, this does. I've moaned about that every time and I've still not bought a smaller bottle to decant. I keep forgetting. I honestly keep forgetting. If I don't write it down, it really doesn't happen. And by the time I finish video, you see, I will have forgotten and I just won't do it. So that's going to go on there. And then I'm going to snip around that as well. Should have a piece left to do for another one. So there we have it. I'm quite happy with that. I perhaps wouldn't have took the time to do that in the middle of another project with the colours. So having it ready made is brilliant. Now we will fit another one on there, won't we? So grab the glue stick. Hope it don't fall apart again. It did. I'll swap it out for another glue stick. I will get the dregs out of that off camera. Oh, that should fit nice there. Beautiful. It really is. So, I'll snip that off. Yeah, it's better to hold this glue like this. I'm actually developing some control over it, holding it like that. Might I actually eliminate the need to decant? We've got far less hessian around that one, but that don't bother me. There we go. So we've got two little word embellishments there now. Let's make another one. I'm so messy, aren't I, when I work? This really is how I work. It's terrible. Let's stick on. Wonderful and got this. And I will grab another one. Yeah, that's the new one I got out. That's the old one I've been using quite a while. But if you, again, if I were not on camera, I'd probably just have done one of these things at a time and just done a load more. In fact, I will. When I've done, I'm going to make some more. And I might be a little bit more inventive with my words. <laughs> Every time I go on camera, I can't think what word to put. Miracle. I keep saying miracle and then not stamping it. I'm thinking of spring. Well, we'll soon be in summer, won't we? Not just spring. All those words. No, it's gone. Can't think of anything. 
feel like I'm at school and teachers ask me a question and my mind's gone blank. It's like, yeah. And, and unless the question was who did it, and I would definitely know it wasn't me. Yeah, that's the automatic response. Who did it? Not me. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Although I forgot to ink that one, so I'm going to do it now while it's on the Hessian. Doesn't really matter. There we go. Although I don't know about you, but I was that kind of kid at school that if someone had done something wrong and they were asking who did it, I'd go red. I used to go bright red even though I'd not done it. And then it'd be like, oh, what am I? They think I've done it because I've gone red. Then I'd go even more red and I'd be so paranoid that they thought it were me responsible for doing everything wrong in school. Quite terrifying, really. Oh, I like that one. Getting a little bit more random with the borders on things, but hey ho. Right, which other word did we have? Or was that it? We had five, three, four, five. Yeah, I just did five of those. So let's put some Hessian on those. If we've got Hessian, I might end up using something a different colour. What else have we got in here? I daren't tip all this out. Oh, look, we've got some fabric. We've got a smaller bit of Hessian. I just put all sorts in here, it's terrible. You know, when you've put everything away and you find these scraps left on your desk. Oh, what's that? Oh, that was from, I did a collage, didn't I? A collage masterboard with some fabric on and there were bits left over. But I'm just looking. I like that it's glass. So I can see. You don't have to get everything out when you're rummaging. That should do me a couple. Yeah, that should. Sweet will fit there. Wonderful will fit there. Yeah, loving it. So let's glue the back. And what I'll do while I make the next ones, I'll put these under my mat so that they stay flat. I don't know what I'd do without this huge mat. I'd perhaps have to bring a stack of books into the craft room. <laughs> like the big room. wonderful and sweet yeah I didn't have to think of those words did I with cutting that stamp set up so we have five oh got this we've not done got this is that going to be long enough got this will just fit on there Ooh. Yeah, Gertrude's gone quiet now, hasn't she? Not heard from her in a while. She doesn't chime in off as much as she used to. Right, that's those five. I think they're quite sweet. You could put another layer of cardboard on the back, but as my intention is to put them onto tags, journal cards, notebooks, or you never know, with them maybe even a little mini journal they could fit on. But yeah, you can use them on anything. Right, what else we got? We've got oddments, flora, fauna and beauty. Oh, and we've got nature. Oh, we've got more beauty. Let's grab a couple of these. And I'm just going to do a very similar thing. Some of them are just going to go into my little box to be used another time. Maybe I want them on a project and I want the thing that they're mounted on to match in with the project. Maybe I'm quite happy for it to be anything like that. Oh, that'd be a good one, wouldn't it? Yeah, I like that colour. Oh, that's pretty. So they're going to go on there. Put oddments. And nature, I think, on there. I think I'll, I'll glue a few on there without actually cutting it up. Maybe I'll get three oddments on. But do I want three with the same backing? No, I don't think I do. I think I'm going to cut the word nature out. And that can have the same backing. It's 
bearing in mind I'm going to be doing a lot more of these different words and different backgrounds so that I've always got something to hand when I'm making a project I don't know that oddments is going to fit and leaving a through. I don't think it is, is it? We need a much shorter word. I think I'm going to put fauna. I want to put flora on that floral fabric. I just do. It may sound predictable, but hey ho, what's wrong with predictability? <laughs> right, so we've got the word fauna. So that's three. I'm going to put these under this mat. Oh, I've just found something under the mat. What is it? Oh, it's just a mat. Yeah, it's just an, a mat under the mat. Right. I think I fancy some layered record and fabric. Oh, look at this. I've even got some bits of that's seam binding. Yeah, dyed seam binding. That's too dark. I like that bit. Oh, that's nice. I don't have much of that. <laughs> Not that I need more of that. I've got enough of everything in the world to last me forever, crafting wise. Oh dear. I need to stop hoarding it and use it. Right. Yeah, let's do the nature and the flora on there. Maybe we'll put a few more of those oddments in as well. Yeah. Right, grab the flora. Oops. I like that. Ink the edges again. This makes it stand out when you're backing it onto fabric like that. Without the edges inked, it seems to disappear more into it, doesn't it? Ooh, yeah. I'm just going to glue that on as it is. This would look really nice on an Eve Thelden project, and I've. I really fancy doing some kind of ring bound Edith Holden journal. I did do a ring bound Edith one. Again, that was a couple of years ago. I know I just inked one of these and I've lost the, the one I inked. Was it gone? There it is. The silly woman. Oh, what's underneath? Oh, teeny tiny little flower that's come out of my oddments tub. That's that. I'm going to cut that and rip it. I may have left far too much around the edge of these. But hey ho. You know, I like it sometimes. A little bit more fabric around the edge. nearly pulled them off. I've moved it, I've moved it. Put more glue on now, woman. I should have torn the fabric on that one because I were tearing rather than cutting before sticking the word on. That's better. So we've got flora there. That's going to look really nice on some tags or journal cards. That one stayed on. Oh, we could even back that onto something else. What have I got here? Oh, look, I've got this with um, some, yeah, stamping on the background. I think that'd look pretty good. Look at me, I'm getting all brave. Whoa, free hand, free hand with my scissors on a larger piece. It's never been known. It really hasn't. 
It's not me that. I took leave of my senses for a second there. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I do. So let's put that on. Well, yeah, that's quite often how I cry. I don't sit down and decide I'm going to make so and so. I quite often sit down, decide I want to do one thing and end up making something totally different. Like today I started out just filling up my box for stamp words and then I've made little some little standalone embellishments because they look cute. They look very cute. I really do like that. So now that's something that in the future I may set out to make from the start because I like the look of them. I mean, you can go to town with different fabrics, different words. And then these will be good for embellishing the front of things where beautiful kit pieces. I did some, uh, if you remember those double journal cards I did in my Tatty Treasure Tuesday? Yeah, the front of those postcards were beautiful as they were. So all I added was one butterfly. Maybe you've got something that just needs a little something, but you don't know what. Look at that, it's not even straight. That's, oh, wow. Well done, Julie. You've done something wonky on purpose. <laughs> that is difficult for me. Honestly, it is. Right, I've got a little bit more of that fabric left because it's now paining me that that is an odd number. I need to do it in, I need to do three. Sorry, but I do. That's just how it is. Threes and fives. I know it's not essential. That's like your design thing, isn't it? if your eye is more pleased by things grouped in threes and fives. But when you're making things to on separate projects, you so don't need to do that. But it's in my head, and that's how I do it. I'm still, oh yeah. I just had this awful feeling that when I'd uh, deleted everything in my memory. I'd not done it properly and it had stopped filming again, but it hasn't. I'm fine. Oh, if I'd done the whole video without filming, I think I would have cried. <laughs> and let's stick that on there. But yeah, these are lovely. And again, they're just out of my scrap jar. If I had sat down and thought, oh, I need to go and get this, I need to go and get my Edith Elden fabric out and cut a strip off two inch wide by that, I just wouldn't have done it. It would not have happened. These would not have happened. And because they're so cute, it would have been a shame. I could cut the bottom of that really wonky. I'm just going to strain it up a tad. And then I can live with it. There, now I can live with that. Yeah, it wouldn't have happened. So I love sometimes just grabbing bits that I've stashed in tubs and jars and boxes and seeing what I can make from them. Oh, I like that. Look at those. They're so pretty. They're going under my mat as well. And I'm going to do one more. How long has this video been going? Oh, right, 30 minutes. I need to do something with this, or do I? Or do I? Do I? I don't know. <laughs> I'll never kill myself making a decision. Beauty. Ooh. Mm. It's all got pretty squinkled, hasn't it? That needs to go flat somewhere before I can use it. But, ooh, look at that. Ooh, I did some words in. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to do it. Amaze me. I'm going to put it on there. No, I'm, I don't make things that colour. That would only go on an Alice journal. That would bad idea, woman. Get some of these scraps out. Amaze me. Yeah, that's going to go on there. So we've done the word onto fabric, then onto card. We've done the word onto card, then onto fabric. Now I'm going to do the word onto some lighter hessian, just because it's there. Glue. Oh, they didn't even cut them when it was glue I needed. I could have done this with glue stick, but if you notice, I've left the lid off and it's probably 
gone a bit dry and very sticky and it could rip this little word so pop the lid back on silly lady Ooh, upgrading myself to a lady from a woman i like that sweet wonderful amaze me oh we've done yeah i did two of each I wondered why I got the same word next. I'm like, I don't remember putting two words the same next to each other. How on earth did that happen? So I need to stick with my woodlandy theme. It's not woodland, it's more of a neutral theme, isn't it? So we've got another piece there. Oh, look at this. Oh, this would be good. This is like a burlap ribbon. I have got quite a bit of that. But it's, it tends to want to move. It's strange. Can you see? I, d I don't understand. Uh, oh, what about on a bit of, that would be nice on there. But I think that might need backing. Hmm. I'm just faffing and messing now and trying to make something with what I've got on my desk. Got this. I like that. I'm going to put that on there. We could turn these into little tags in their own right. Possibilities are endless. What's that? Right. I like that on there, you know. Yeah, I could, st again, it's one of those things I could stay doing all day and end up with dozens and dozens. Amaze me. I've got this. Did I cut one more that I wanted to use? Oddments. We've already done oddments. We don't need more oddments in our lives. Not at the moment. I thought I'd cut another word. I must not have. I'm going to do another Made My Day because I can see that one being one. Looks really good. If you put in something in a journal that made you happy that day, yeah, Made My Day, that did. What about that? Oh, I like it on there. And then I think I shall leave you, lovely people. To go and crack on with some of your own crafting. I just thought I'd do something that was relatively inexpensive today and anyone could do. I mean if you don't have stamps you could, and you have nice handwriting which I don't you could write the word out, print the word out, you could cut words out of a book and do the exact same thing with them. I, I quite like how wonky that is. I think it needs backing onto, yeah, we're going to back that one onto more card. Oh, yes. So, yeah, this is, I mean, it depends on your style of journaling as well, doesn't it? Because I make journals more than journal in journals. I'm more of a list maker and a bullet journal tends to suit me better and I don't tend to embellish it. Because I then find it very confusing to my eye when it's my day-to-day -day journal of things I need to do. I used to be a smash book girl. I really like the smash books because my kids got into smash books. But yeah, I'm really fancying. I'm watching a lot of people do these daily journal things. And yeah, it's something... I'm itching to try doing. Right, let's see what we ended up with after all that talking and waffling. And <laughs> probably could have been far more productive than I was. But I'm quite happy with what occurred there. So yeah, that's that one. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have the... Oh, I made more than I thought. I'm sure I've made more and lost some. How mad is that? Oh yeah, look, oh, we've done much more than I thought there. I've not done two 
bad movie glue book woman spread them out oh we've got some there i've still not even cut because i wanted to grab in fact i know where they are grab your pink and shears and cut them yeah right woohoo that's that and that there we go so we've got all sorts of little words and things that will be all ready to go on to little projects so it really is that easy you don't have to do much thinking oh there you go all oh, with little bits of oddments that i found in my oddment jar yeah so i really hope you enjoyed that and thank you very much for watching me i will be i'll be cracking on with my alice journal ready to get a flip through done and this weekend which is two days away i'll be doing my butterfly journal yeah we've got lots of ephemera ready to go in it now so i'll be assembling the journal so you'll have to wait and see what kind of journal that's going to be but if you want to see don't forget to look out for my video on saturday so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye